in this vlog I'm going to show you how to make wooden holes for a wooden circuit. One problem that I've had for a long time is that I really struggle to do a lot of endurance training circuits in warm weather. We're in August right now and I'm just come home from a climbing trip and I'm just starting my end of summer into autumn training for which I want to be kind of fit and ready to get on my projects in a couple of months time at the start of October. But one of the main challenges I have with just racking up uh, lots of circuit time on my board here is my skin just gets sore and thin um, and I'm stopping climbing because my skin just can't take anymore rather than anything else. Now I know that um, a lot of people don't seem to bother so much with this, they just don't seem to have a, such a big problem with it. Um, and for many years uh, I used to think that <coughs> I was maybe just being a bit soft and uh, I should man up and uh, just take the pain. Um, but over the course of 25 odd years climbing I've come to realise that uh, my hands just sweat a lot and that there's a lot of individual variation between people in that respect. Um, and that once I started to work with that rather than try and just cope with it, um, I got in a lot better. So really I'm just trying everything to avoid climbing in warm conditions. I'm very thankful that I live in a fairly cool part of the world up in the north of Scotland um, and I can keep the conditions fairly good on my board most of the time. But even still, uh, my preferred training temperature is about freezing. <laughs> and when it's really cold like that, I can just train and train and train and my skin is never the problem. My skin stays leathery and hard and um, it, doesn't, it doesn't wear out. But when it's humid or warm, maybe north of 15 degrees, which most people would think of as cold, I really struggle. Maybe it's just because I must go, I don't know. But either way, I know it makes a big difference. So I figured that I would experiment with making some wood circuits, especially easier ones that I can do more lower intensity, higher volume training on and hopefully not wear my skin out so much um, and just see how that goes uh, both with respect to the skin issue and also with respect to performance ultimately since that's what matters. So in this post I'll take you through uh, building some, setting some circuits um, and then once I've done a bit of training on them for a month or two I'll let you know how it goes. The first thing is what do you need to do this? Well this uh, uh, saw is really good, table saw um, and I've got a belt sander so between these two bits of equipment, that's kind of more or less all you need, a drill to drill a hole um, and a countersink, and that's about it. And obviously some wood. So hardwood is really good for making a, a nice climbing holes that are robust enough to handle like lots of heavy use. Um, I'm really lucky in, in that I had a brilliant ready source of it when I moved to this house, uh, sitting in my double garage here, which is now my climbing wall, was a full size snooker table, which was made of hardwood. This is one part of it here and I've kept the wood obviously because it's really nice wood um, and I've made a few holes out of it already and I'm going to make a lot more out of this stuff. Um, the other thing I've done is just every time I go to my local recycling centre uh, I've picked up, I've just looked in the wood skip and, and picked up various pieces of hardwood that are, that are frequently left there so you, you, know, you shouldn't ever really have to pay anything for wood if you can visit a recycling centre because you'll just find loads. But if you don't have access to that, you, I have also bought some small pieces of hardwood offcuts from eBay. Um, They're still pretty cheap and you can still get enough to make um, you know, a huge a, a circuit worth of big holds and a lot more small holds for £10. So that's not too bad. So I'll get started and chop this big piece into some smaller bits. I guess with turning it from this like uh, block to an actual finished hold, um, that's the kind of creative bit and I'm just making it up as I go along. I'm sure um, there are plenty of other people that could do a far better job than me. Um, the main thing is that I want these holes to be quite good, really rounded and really skin friendly. Um, so I'm not going to worry too much about the shape of them. Uh, I'm just going to make them and if they're not right, I can always tweak them. <laughs> that's the great thing about wood. So straight away we've got something that looks a little bit nicer. 
Right then, so there we go. There's a bunch of templates, if you like. Um, all chopped, I've cut as much wood as I, as I can off them really. And now we'll get the belt sander out and round these off and make them into nice finished holds. Okay, so here we have a bunch of sanded holds. Uh, which should be pretty much ready to go. They look pretty good, I think. Um, I left them kind of rough sanded. I, I like them that way, which is a little bit of friction. I don't like them really finely sanded. Um, it's not furniture we're making. Um, I just find if they're too sanded, you can sometimes just ping off them. I like just a little bit of friction left. So now all that's left is to drill and countersink them. And uh, in some, but maybe not all cases, we'll drill a secondary screw to stabilise them as well. Can I just tell you something? What? Is it the thing that would just um, take all the things that can drink up here? Okay. Okay, so it's rather later in the evening. Um, I've finished various holes um, and ready to put them on the wall. Uh, this is really the hard bit, I think, is actually setting a problem or a circuit with, with your holes. It takes a lot of time to do it well. <laughs> um, you can either put the holes on the wall quite quickly and then tweak them, or you can stand, like me, stand and think about it for a good while and then do it and then tend to get it more or less right first time. But even then, there's still a fair bit of tweaking. Um, to make something that's really nice to climb, you know, you can, you can do it very quickly and do something that's like 80% fine. But to make a really nice circuit, it takes a bit of time. Um, so that's what I've been standing around doing. But yeah, let's get some holes on the wall. Okay, so that's me basically set myself a circuit now. Um, I've probably got to uh, tweak it a little bit yet. I'll, I'll try it. Um, I'll go around it and see if there's any moves that need a bit of tweaking just so that it climbs really nicely. For feet, I've generally got a selection of small screw-ons on the bottom half of my board and then the upper part. I'll either use feet same as hands or other small screw-ons that are around the place. Um, and that should work pretty well. So this is the sort of standard of climbing that I can climb around it and sort of maintain a conversation. So I've got a tiny bit of pump in my arms, but really not a lot. Just enough to keep my breathing going a bit, but I'm really in a steady state and I could keep going around this, but I mean, if I really wanted to, I could keep going around this for well over an hour. So it's that steady state aerobic. Very slight pump in my arms. Slight elevation of my breath, but not much. And otherwise pretty relaxed. So I think I've actually got the intensity about right. So the purpose of this training is just pure aerobic conditioning. of my forearms and my arms. Building mitochondria, aerobic enzymes, 
the ability to burn fat, spare glycogen. That's really the point of this training. And I want to be able to do it and not need to re really recover that much from it. So as I say, for this circuit, this is a, a easy aerobic circuit on my 15 degree board, uh, which I'm going to try out some easier uh, circuits like high volume, lower intensity, and do a little bit more of that than I have done in previous seasons of training and to see how that goes. So I'll report back on that in a future video and let you know how it goes. Okay, thanks for watching. Thank you.